cameos from Star Wars to Marvel. They are everywhere at the moment. And I think this is already showing signs of being bad in Doctor Who 2. Now, let's just look at Star Wars and Marvel. And when you see the more critically acclaimed shows, the more shows that people say, oh, you know, those were very good. They are the ones without the cameos and or, for example. Now, this is because shows with cameos feel cheap, but they feel cheated with the audience. They're just using nostalgia to pour you in and to keep you in and to keep you watching and to make you think, oh, this is really good, when in fact, just reminiscing about old times and it's not necessarily the writing or the story. Now, I think this could be dangerous for RCD2, not only because he's obviously bringing back some big characters already, like Donna, her family, her extended family, um, but also, you know, the big one himself, David Tennant, and that's fine. I mean, you, know, you can do that. It's the 60th anniversary. Power of the Doctor had loads of cameos because it was a centenary special. Those specials are fine, but he's doing it very early on and in really, really big ways. It's almost making me think... Is he going to keep doing this for his era? Are we going to get loads more people pouring in for shooties? Because it is going to take away from his era if he does that. And the reason this is more worrying for RZD than like, you know, someone else at like Chibnall or Moffat is because he's bringing in, you know, he, he has an existing era. So he's going to have characters he likes to write and wants to bring back and wants to set up for the future even after he leaves and build on his previous empire and build on his, you know, whole empire as a whole. So I think it could be, you know, he needs to be careful with how many cameos he uses and what cameos he uses and what special guests he uses because you don't want to do them too much. Um, you know, I think Capaldi put it kind of perfectly the other day in that interview where he was basically explaining why he's not feeling ready to come back to Doctor Who yet is because he doesn't want to take away from his original time on the show. If he comes back and is slightly different or just comes back, it could take away from what he's already done. Whether he is coming back or not, he's lying, doesn't matter because it's true. Coming back multiple, multiple times does take away from your era. Think about all the times David Tennant has already come back and probably will even after the 60th. Every time he does that, it takes away from the other times they return and from the originals. So I think that's why it's important not to fill it with cameos. And I think that's why RCD could be in potential dangerous territory for... I don't want him to get cocky. I don't want him to fill his era with cameos from his past era and just from past eras of the show as a whole. Because I don't want it to feel cheated on shooty. That's not fair. And it's not fair on the show to continuously keep looking back. Sure, he's a past runner, but we still need to look forward. Thank <laughs> you.